an Army combat vet. Were you in the military at the time? Were you between uh, tours? What was going on there? I was actually, I actually was out a total of three months. Yeah. I was out for a total of three, I had gotten out, and then three months later, September 11th happened. Then I lived, uh, I lived in Sudan for a little bit, and then I went back to Outstanding. Well, thank you for your service. What was your MOS in the Army for those listeners that haven't heard your story before? Uh, I was 19 kilo, armor crewman. <laughs> well, brother man, I, for one, appreciate you going over there and keeping these idiot terrorists at bay over there. And that's what we're doing with the Patriot Day Brunch, all you listeners out there, is we're celebrating the successes of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, soldiers like Jeff Barilera here, Soldier Heart, that kept that war off our shores. So, right, Glenn? Oh, absolutely. And, and uh, we're so grateful for your service to our country, you and all your fellow warfighters. And we're also very grateful for all you do nowadays to help the fellow warfighters and, and to have them have places to contact, people to contact, and be given the right kind of guidance so that they can deal with things like post-traumatic stress disorder and, and other problems. Survivor's they, guilt. Yeah, <laughs> other problems they may have uh, experienced, may ex still experience, and that is just so wonderful on y'all's part. So, Soldier Hard, before we let you go, if I'm out there, do I have to pay to go to your Motivation Monday site? Right on. <laughs> oh, I know cool. you will. Listen, I know for a fact, I have followed you in your career. And when you set your mind to something, bam, you follow through. And people, that's what we're preaching. Okay, we may not be religious here, but we're preaching it, and that's perseverance. You just stick to it until you get to the other side or wherever it is you want to go. How about the Survivor's Guilt video? How can all our listeners go watch that? Where do they go? And uh, your website, one more time, for all our listeners that want to go buy some music, because you have so many. You have, you know, you've got albums after albums, and it's all good. It's about soldiering and patriotism and obviously the effects of PTSD and all that stuff. How can they buy your music, Jeff? They can go to soldierheart.net or Awesome, brother. Thank you so much for this segment of Light Up the Darkness. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon, if not before next month, all right? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, thank you again, Jeff. Glenn, it's always great to hear from him because he's always upbeat. He's always pushing the message that warfighters, the entire community, both veterans and spouses and family members, we can band together and conquer some of the issues and problems we face. Yeah, he's, he's so <clears throat> great at uh, providing the help to fellow warfighters uh, and female warfighters. Uh, and I, you know, as I just said a few minutes ago to Jeff, uh, so grateful for that. And I know the veterans that he works with are great, grateful to him also. And he has actually, I mean, you can, you can mark this down. His music and his ability to reach out to people uh, online or in person, he has saved lives. Oh, absolutely. Okay, we talk about PRNR, Project Recuperation Reintegration, the retreats that AVET Project puts on to help our warfighters, particularly combat vets and their families. Well, he's been to several of them. He's performed at some of them. Jeff, you are an amazing man, a.k.a. Soldier Heart. Keep doing what you're doing. One thing I wanted to touch on during before we end this episode, Glenn, I've been faced with situations where, in particular, in, 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 this, in this particular instance, it was a Vietnam vet that had no idea, nobody had ever told them that he was eligible for disability compensation through the VA for prostate cancer. He's a boots on the ground Marine from Vietnam. Now, he, he would have, he's hopefully going into remission, and he could have lived the rest of his life 
without knowing anything about the fact that he's due up to three thousand dollars a month while the disease is active okay this this is horrible it's horrible it's horrifying to me to know that him and thousands scores of others are in that same situation wouldn't you agree oh absolutely and it just baffles me and it's baffled me for my past 24 plus years of helping veterans and their families to understand that if they hadn't talked with me, they wouldn't have known that they were eligible for Agent Orange related disabilities or other disabilities. And uh, you've got a perfect example over there. I do, and this is very powerful. This is why we want you to get your pen and paper. Thank God this doesn't affect a lot of us, but there is a particular illness, a particular disease out there that if you are a veteran and you've served over 90 days honorably or otherwise, I think, who knows, I don't even know. It's a VA administered benefit, so I'm going to guess they'll make a determination in your favor, even if you did have a big chicken dinner. Exactly. I, I don't know. That's that's the ins and outs. That What do you say, the if, and, or but? If, and, or but world of VA benefits. So Here it is. If you or someone you know, and that's how we talk about this, was a veteran of any era. I mean, if we had World War I guys around, I guess they'd probably qualify, but certainly World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and forward. Any veteran, get that in your mind because it doesn't have to be a wartime era veteran. And so you're wondering, what are we talking about? That's right, any veteran of any era era. If you come down with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Lou Gehrig's disease for the older folks out there. Okay. Number one, it is a death sentence. Yep. You know, you're not going to live. Hopefully you'll live a good five years and hopefully longer than that. But chances are you're not even going to live that long, unfortunately. So if you know anybody that was a veteran of any time. And they have that diagnosis of ALS. You got to get in touch with an accredited representative immediately because there's benefits to be paid. Yes, and the benefit to be paid is uh, the VA now recognizes that uh, it is a life-threatening. Uh, it's going to take your life. It's going to take your life. I'm sorry about that. All right. So the minimum rating. That 100%. the VA is going to assign. That's over three thousand dollars. That's minimum, right off the bat. You're going to get all sorts of other allowances. They are literally rolling out the red carpet once they get a veteran that's been diagnosed with ALS of any era. Okay, they're going to roll out the red carpet and take as good a care of you as as they know how. And the reason is because you're going to die. Now, here's the question. The question is, what did they do to all of us that would lead to this particular decision? I don't have an answer to that, but I'm not sure the VA has an answer to that. Uh, what it means is that they have looked at populations as a whole, and then they look at the veteran population. There must be such an incredible spike in the number of people diagnosed with ALS that have veteran service compared to the general population that the National Institutes of Health, which basically goes out and does the investigation for the VA on all these presumptive disorders. Correct. And uh, yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, they did the investigation and they found out people who had been in the military, whether it be wartime or peacetime, whatever time it was, who come down with ALS amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, that's a mouthful. Uh, like you said, Lou Gehrig's disease, the baseball player. Yeah, probably all you younger people don't know what the heck we're talking about on <laughs> Lou Gehrig, but that's all right. Uh, people who have that are uh, more likely to have ALS than anybody else of any kind of group uh, that you want to put people in than anybody else in, in America. So that's just ultimate importance. There's too many of us out there that are eligible and qualify for benefits, and yet we don't know about it. we got to help each other. If you're a family member of a veteran, maybe you're just a an inquisitive person that loves the entertainment that Garen and Glenn bring to you here on AM 1060 every weekend, thank you for joining us. But spread the word. Issues like this cannot be overstated because it is 
uh, it's a great benefit for an illness that will take your life. So please get the word out. Help us get the word out. Glenn, it's that time. The episode's almost over, but we never leave without getting this information out there. If you're a veteran experiencing crisis, if uh, you're a friend of a veteran, a family member of a veteran, uh, and you know they're experiencing crisis, please get help for them at the Veterans Crisis Line, 1-800-273-8255. Press 1 for veterans help. You must press 1. 1-800-273-8255. Press 1. And as always, don't forget, thank a vet.